Hello, welcome to today's class. Let's quickly look at this. the square root of minus t plus the square root of t equal to 12. What is the value of t to the power of 2 here? So let's take our solution here. We have solution. Okay. Now, I've solved a similar challenge of this kind whereby I move this quantity to this side of the equation. But here, I want to square this side and square this side straightforward. So this is going to give us square root of minus t, the plus the square root of rt, the equal to 12. So I want to take the square of this and take the square of this. The question is why are we taking the square of both sides? Because we have the square root radical. That's why I want to take the square root of both sides. Sorry, the square of both sides. Okay. So if we do this, yeah, this is going to give us the square root of minus t all raised to power 2 plus this very square root of t all to the power of 2, then plus this will give us 2 of square root of minus t then times the square root of t, everything equal to 1, 4, 4. Right? Very easy. Okay, I just apply a law here, okay? The law says that if you have your, let's take x plus your y all raised to the power of 2, this is equal to your x to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 2 plus 2xy. Okay? So this is the law I just applied here. So from here, what happened? Then you discover this, we go with this, and this, we go with this, right? So we now have our minus t, then plus rt, then plus our 2 into the square root of minus t times the square root of t equal to 1, 4, 4. Look at this. What happened to these two quantities here? These and these will leave the system. So we now have our 2 then to the square root of minus t times the square root of t. This is equal to 1 for 4. We can easily divide by our 2 here. So if we divide by 2, divide this by 2. So this, this leaves the system. 2 here, 1. 2 here, we have 7. Then 2 here, we have 2. So we have 72. All right, so let's continue on this side and see what this gives us. All right, so from here, we're going to have the square root of minus t and the square root of t. This is equal to 72. Easy. Okay. Now, we can find the square root of minus 1 because this expression could be written as the square root of minus 1 times the square root of t times the square root of t. Everything equal to 72. So we know that the square root of minus 1 is equal to our iota, right? Okay, so with this, we can rewrite this. And look at this, because this is a square root radical, this is a square root radical, so the two of them can come together. Okay, remember from Saul, it says that if you have the square root of A times the square root of B, this is equal to the square root of our A, B, right? Good. So rewriting this, apply this. And this very expression here, so what is this a whole expression going to give us? So it's going to give us something very nice. So this is going to give us our iota, okay? Then so the square root of rt. Now we are having t, t here, okay? So t to the power of 2. Everything equal to 72. Wow. Now, we have to divide by iota because we don't need this iota. So, we divide through by iota, divide this side by iota. So, this, this leaves the system. Remember, we are looking for t squared. So, since we are looking for t squared, what we do? We don't want to use this to cancel out this. No. So, we want to square both sides of the equation because from here, we are going to have t to the power of 2, square root of it. This is equal to 72 all over iota. And because we are looking for t to the power of 2, hence we don't want to use this square root radical to cancel this square. So we take another square. Take another square. So we square this, we square this. So this, this can go with it. So we are now left with our t to the power of 2. This is equal to. Now remember, we said minus 1, the square root of minus 1 is equal to iota. What if I decide to square this iota? So this is going to give us our 
iota to the power of 2 is equal to, I square this, is going to give us minus 1. Right? Good. So, this square, we affect this, we also equally affect this. So, let's go ahead and rewrite this. So, this is going to give us here our 72, okay, all to the power of 2, all over here we have iota to the power of 2. Okay? So, let's continue here and see the final result what this gives us. So, with this, we've already established, then we can put in minus 1 here. So, we now have our t to the power of 2 is equal to 72 to the power of 2 all over minus 1. So, rewriting this, this is going to give us t to the power of 2. This is equal to our minus 72 to the power of 2. So, this is the value of t to the power of 2. So, bring this brings us to the end of this math class. See you in our next class. Keep winning. Bye. For now.